What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be installing this antenna. These things work great. The trick is to get them up as high as possible. Uh, normally I'd be installing it right there where the two rafters meet, uh, but I don't have a ladder that tall and even if I was to go borrow or rent one, the ground here is real uneven. It's a tight spot and as you can see it's full of chickens. So instead we're going to put it in the attic and that is the gable vent we were just looking at. The location works great because our TV is right here. Okay, here we are in the attic. Uh, as you can see, there's not a place to mount a pole. It would just go straight through the ceiling. So when we flip her upside down, I'm thinking we're gonna try and attach it to where these ties meet the, meet the rafter right there uh, and hang it from that. We gotta keep an eye out on these ties so that we don't hit when we rotate. We wanna be able to get a full 360 on it. Uh, so that'll take some measuring. What are we going to use to hang from that tie and mount this? Well, uh, the kit does not come with a mountain pole, so you're on your own for that. Uh, normally, probably go to Lowe's, but there's a coronavirus going on, and we gotta look around and see what we got and fix it quick. All right, so I found a piece of three quarter inch PVC from an old project that fit in there just fine. I uh, took a quick measurement from where we're planning to hang it and I got 24 inches so we are cutting that to size right now. Alright, put the PVC in there, tightened it down real good. We're shooting to go right here and that should be the plan. We got clearance, we're good to go. How are we going to mount this to the rafters? This is what I came up with. I have some three quarter inch conduit straps uh, that fits right on my three quarter inch PVC pipe. I drilled a hole right there in the middle, so I'm gonna stick a screw through to hold it to the pipe. And then to mount, I'm just going to bang some nails right through these holes into the existing rafter tie plates. All right. She's all set and ready to hang. Screws went through nice and easy. That should hold just fine. All right, I think that came out pretty good. Uh, she's hanging from the roof, and if you spin it, it clears the ties. So we should have 360 motion here, and it feels pretty secure, you know, not gonna fall down. Now we got to fish the coax through the wall here so we can connect it. It's about time to put a hole in the wall and fish some coax up to our antenna. Connect that coax to our box that came with the unit. Fish some more coax to the television and connect the television to our box. Uh, to cover the hole that we're making in the wall, I'm using this uh, brush faceplate and it works like that. You can stick HDMI, coax, whatever cables you got, go right through there. Uh, we gotta stay in this general area because I've got a stud here, a stud there, and I've already got a brush unit uh, faceplate behind the TV here in this little tube gang box. So this is what we're aiming for when we fish that coax. So we hit a bit of a snag. I was thinking I'd have more room ooh, here to fish the coax through this hole, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to drill a new hole through this top plate here and fish down. But we'll see what happens. All right, we got our fish tape uh, through the hole and out our new hole. We're gonna attach a coax to that and then pull it back up. Now we're fishing from behind the TV to the cable that's going to go to the TV. Got it all taped up and ready to pull through. 
Well, I'm about to get everything all cleaned up, but just wanted to show you guys it working in action. There's that uh, brush plate all installed. Here's the box. I'm turning her on, I think. And we'll see if we can get the antenna to move. Here it is in action. It's, uh, spinning and clearing. Seems to be working great. On to the next one. Peace.